So today something completely different. We um, I needed a tow car because I'm starting to move a lot of cars around on trailers, and uh, I'm not spending 15 grand every time to hire a bucky uh, to do it. And uh, I don't like the idea of paying off cars on a monthly basis. So with the funds that I had, I could afford this car, which is a, ni a 2006 Ford Territory gear. Um, lots of power. Uh, the guy who had it before um, seems to have done quite a bit of uh, work in terms of chipping it and uh, putting a free flow exhaust and stuff like that on. Um, so in standard trim, they make 182 kilowatts and 380 newton meters. This is probably closer to 200, I guess. Uh, for all of 55,000 rand, it's done 162,000 Ks. It has a full service history. Um, basically, everything works on it. Uh, with the exception of the driver's window. So I need to get a switch for there. Um, Aircon works, audio system great, interior actually very nice. It's a seven seater. We've just folded down the uh, third row here. Um, so a ton of space, um, a really premium sound system as well, uh, with the subwoofer and stuff, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So a really nice car for 55 grand. Um, we picked it up on Saturday. Um, we hadn't planned it and we saw it and we just thought, you know, the ticks the boxes of what we can afford. We knew exactly what we were getting. Uh, we went to We Buy Cars. We knew exactly what was wrong with the car. Um, and to be fair, we've probably done a couple of hundred Ks in it uh, with very, very few issues that we didn't know about raising the heads. In fact, none that we didn't know about. Uh, one of the issues was that occasionally the ETC light would come on and uh, the accelerator wouldn't work anymore. So to just cut it down and it would idle because obviously it's a drive-by wire. And um, it happened once to me and it happened once to my wife and it happened once when we were just idling. Um, and I thought, okay, well, uh, check on YouTube. And I did, and there were a couple of guys speaking about throttle bodies and stuff like that. So obviously the first thing I did was just pull it off and I'll put some pictures at the end of uh, the video. But that was uh, absolutely filthy. And the problem was that this rubber, the last guy that worked on it, when he, when he took this off to um, change the to change the plugs, because obviously you need to take this off to do that, uh, he had folded the uh, rubber shroud underneath in, so it was sucking air uh, from underneath the engine, um, way after the air filter here, um, <clears throat> and all the crap was getting into the throttle body. So the throttle body was filthy, dirty. Uh, we had a few <laughs> pieces of um, old tire, old tire rubber here, tube, whatever, uh, that our firewood came wrapped in, and I thought, well, I can't save that. Um, so it's a temporary measure until I can get another rubber shroud. Uh, just use a couple of these. So I slip them around the throttle body, put the pipe on it, and it's actually sealed it really nicely. So the throttle body's clean. Uh, the air filter can and we clean as well. It's very dirty. Um, it's got a full service history, but it looks like it's been standing for about a year, this car. And it was last, it skipped an A service, which was an oil change. Um, so we're doing all of that now. Uh, but let's see if it works. It's going to see. If it starts up, we'll just find the key here. Yeah, see if this thing fires up. And um, let's see how the exhaust sounds. <laughs> Real, uh, what would this be? Not a Kalahari Ferrari, but uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Moment of truth. So when I drove it into the garage, it, you know, the ETC light came on. So let's see what happens. Um, okay, fire it up. Way oh, it lives. Um, let's turn the steering wheel straight. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, no, it's off. That's pretty cool. But listen to this. This car, as I say, is in really nice nick. All the lights work inside. Um, all those, the park distance control works, aircon ice cold, gearbox is great. 
Uh, full history, all manuals. Looks like one owner had said uh, 162,000 k's. Uh, no warning lights, obviously the seat belt and the handbrake and obviously the fog lights are on, but yeah, that's it, eh? For 55 grand, it's incredible, actually, what you can get, but the uh, the fuel consumption is diabolical in this thing. Let's have a look here. Uh, so my wife's been driving it and she's got a much lighter foot than me, but yeah, that's the average, 15.8. Uh, when I drove it the other day, I was seeing like 23, 24, but hey, at least it's faster. Anyway, Ford Territory, uh, yeah, here we go.